Hi ladies! Okay, it's time for another TTC update. I cannot believe I am still on the same cycle. It is crazy long. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know if I'm pregnant. I don't know if my cycle is just once again out of whack and it's doing a whole new thing. I don't know. Um, for the past like 10 to 11 cycles, it has been so predictable. I always start bleeding between 9 and 10 DPO, especially on 10 DPO. I'll have a migraine at 9 DPO. Bam, AF comes, arrives, 10 DPO. So this is the first cycle. Like last cycle, I made it to 11 DPO, and I was so ecstatic that I would go past 10 DPO. And now this cycle, I am 17 DPO. Oh my God, it is crazy. I can't believe it. Um, and if you go by my, like, if you look at my um, chart on my um, app, sorry, on my iPhone, look, five days late. Oh my god! AF is five days late. Um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to think. Like, I want to get excited, but I won't let myself. And, like, I, I'm, of course, I'm hopeful, and, like, I've got everything crossed, and, like, going. But I'm scared, like, you don't want to think, is this it? Because then you think, oh my god, I'm going to jinx the, you know, BFP god or something. <laughs> so, I don't know what to think right now, but, um, honestly, I'm feeling great. Like, yes, I have symptoms, but they're not as severe as it was early in the week. And I'm just kind of, I don't know if I'm used to it or something, but... Like, I have waves of nausea and all that sort of stuff, and the main significant thing was my breasts were, like, so incredibly sore from around 7 DPO. I've had, like, shooting pains from my armpits to my, like, nipples, and my nipples are still very sensitive, that sort of thing, but it's not painful as it was then, and just, like, my bra and all that sort of stuff is irritating the hell out of me. Um... And I'm so bloated, like, like, bloated, like, huge. My stomach is huge. And if it's, like, AF or if it's pregnancy, I just wish I could find out because it's so uncomfortable. My stomach is so hard with bloat. It's just, ugh, it's so uncomfortable. Um, other symptoms. Um, no, 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 no. The number one main one, which is probably TMI and also... You know, a bit embarrassing, but, like, it's a TTC vlog, and, you know, I'm honest, and that sort of thing. The huge biggest symptom was thrush. I had thrush from 10 DPO up to, up till, I think, 14 DPO, 15 DPO. I think it was between 9 DPO and, yeah, 9 DPO to, like, 14 DPO. I had really full-on, disgusting, I know, sorry, thrush. Um, and I didn't want to get, like, medication or that sort of stuff in case I am, um, pregnant. So I just treated it naturally and that sort of stuff and just, it, I don't want to get into it. Keep it clean, that sort of thing. I won't go into detail. And the reason why that stands out is because the only time I ever get thrush is when I am pregnant. I had it with my son and I had it with my daughter, especially. Um... And if you, like, search thrush, that sort of stuff, and the symptoms and the causes, it kind of says, it does say, like, pregnancy can be a cause for thrush. And that is the only time I've ever had it, and the only time I ever got it. So when I did get that, it's like, hello, I could possibly be pregnant. So that is the biggest symptom and also the biggest sign that I could be. Um... Also, even though I'm getting, like, BFNs on my pregnancy test, the OPKs are still dark. Now, I don't, like, I don't know if that's normal because I've never tested OPKs. Once I get, like, a positive OPK and then it starts to fade out or fade, I stop testing. And the only reason why I started testing because when I, I didn't have any home pregnancy tests and you kind of see, like, other vlogs, other women testing OPKs and they go really dark and that sort of stuff. And so I did that, and it, it was, the test line was darker than the control line, and ever since, it's exactly the same. I can test, like, 10 in the morning, 10 at night, 
middle of the night I have tested and it's dark. It has not faded. So I don't know if that's a normal OPK thing. So like I said, my friend said, oh, if AF is coming, your OPK will be dark regardless. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, other symptoms I've had, um, just um, in the mornings, I think from not yesterday, the day before, I started dry gagging. It is horrible. I wake up and I just dry gagging. Like everything just makes me gag. So that is something I've only ever had as well in my early pregnancy. Um, I get like really hungry at night, but I can't eat much because the bloat is so tight. Um, but other than that, I haven't really got that many symptoms. Um, none of them are like AF symptoms. I've got none of my AF symptoms. The only AF symptoms I get is the headaches and the chronic migraines. I haven't had a migraine since, um, I think it was 9 DPO, 11, no, 11 DPO. And that's what I thought AF was coming, but it never showed up. So I don't, I don't know. Like I feel really good. Like going from constant headaches and migraines and now it's kind of stopped. It's, it's unnatural for me because I have, I've not had a non- I've had a non-migraine cycle in like over a year. So, I don't know. What do you think? Am I pregnant? <laughs> um, I don't know what to think. I really don't. Um, tomorrow I am 30, uh, cycle day 34 and 18 DPO. And I was reading my daughter's TTC journal. Before I had a computer, I was just writing like a book sort of thing. And the funniest thing, like spooky thing is, I've got a positive pregnancy test with her at cycle day 34, 18 DPO. Is that a sign? I don't know. I don't know. It's like, the situation's kind of the same. I was getting BFN, 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 even the day before, I got a BFN. And then, for some reason, at 18 DPO, I got a positive pregnancy test. Tomorrow I'm 18 DPO, cycle day 34. It's just kind of freaky that it's the, I'm at the exact same point, the exact same cycle day, exact same DPO. I don't know. We will see. I'll be testing tomorrow morning. I will do a live pregnancy test. Oh look, you can see Jessie. <laughs> Here she is, on the furniture. Jessie! Jessie! Sorry. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll be doing a live pregnancy test tomorrow morning, um, and we'll soon find out if it's positive or not. So I think that's about it for now. Thank you once again for all your support. Um, you're all amazing, and thank you so much for the encouragement and the support and the questions and just the messages. It's fantastic. Don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter, and um, I'll update you all again soon. Bye.